and the way it goes. In the next uh, 15, 20 minutes, it'll be in the water. Once Odyssey splashed down, Paolo boarded her to turn on the engine. The sound of a universal M12 engine was music to our ears, and even better was the sight of the raw water coming out of the exhaust. Then Odyssey was guided and tied close to the crane, which will be used to lift and step the mass onto the mass plate. In all the rush to get Odyssey ready, we forgot to prep the mast by lining up the stays and halyards. But the marina staff were on it. We were very appreciative of their assistance. So a trick when you're doing this next year? Yeah. Take one thing. Okay. Yeah. So that's like your back stay, right? Mm -hmm. Turn your hand and go all the way down and make sure that it's on the right side of the spreaders. That makes sense? Yeah, it makes so sense. So that when we lift it up, we don't have to go up on the cherry picker and, and flip it over the spreaders. Yeah, I'll a couple of those we go. So basically, just take a couple of things and run it on the right I, side. I do a couple because I know where they're going to go. I would just do one. Just do do every one and make sure they route the same way. Okay. And if, if you do get a chance to make your mask right here, make sure that you do it so that the Steaming light is facing up, and that the base of the mast is at the east. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the crane operator then lifted Odyssey's deck step mast, and along with the marina staff, guided it to Odyssey's mast plate, where Palo was waiting to bolt it down. Keep in mind that once on the water, the deck itself was gently moving. It was a good thing that the weather was calm and the water was flat. After the mast was bolted down, no small feat by any means, it was time to connect the furler and the stays to the turnbuckles. Once the furler and outside stays were connected to the deck top, the crane slowly backed away from the mast. So uh, it's been a little nerve-wracking this morning. Um, I don't know, kind of drew a complete blank in terms of the, the whole process. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know, last year went a lot smoother, I think. I was more prepared. Last year, I had my turnbuckles installed and made it a little bit easier. And they got a lot of good help here from the, from the crew over here. So. It, you know, they were, they were, and they were very patient, so we're getting through it. Lost one of the um, one of the, the pins for the turnbuckle, so it fell into the drink, as they would say. Got to get another one to replace that one because otherwise I'm going to be missing one for my 
port side uh, uh, inner shroud. Uh, hopefully for next season, I'll remember to have some spare parts on hand just in case. Yes, we found a spare. I found a spare pin. It's uh, see over here. Should only be this. Should only be about an inch long. I got an inch and a half long. So I'm just putting it in so that I can secure the uh, mast down. And um, once this is done, I'll go over to the uh, marine chandlery over there and get a proper length one. We're heading to our temporary slip for today. Yeah, uh, our, our um, slip we have we had here, we've had while we've been at this marina, uh, is being occupied by another boat right now, so um, they're putting us beside them. Or same circumference as this spring line. There, there's another one. Yep. So we finally docked in in our temporary slip. It wasn't as smooth as well. It's our first docking maneuver for this for the season. So it wasn't as smooth as it should have been. But hey, that's life. But we got here. You know, didn't, hit got, anything, so. didn't hit anything on our way, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, and we're docked. This one moved out of your way for you. So we're gonna go back there. Yeah. yeah okay. Sorry Today. All right, oh, no problem. We uh, we towed it here, and we didn't have. Uh, I thought the owner would have moved it, but he didn't. Okay. Come. No problem. Same thing, okay, so. As we started lunch, the marina staff came by to move the boat that had been docked in our slip. But just moving this boat that is temporarily on our slip, we and once they tie that boat over to that finger dock, then after lunch, we'll take our boat and move it to to that slip there, our home slip. So we've been here almost five hours now. We got here just um, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, and it's almost uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock, so six hours. Almost six hours. Six hours. Yeah. We did a lot of today, but we also did a lot of docking. T well, we docked twice. So if anything, that's good because we are practicing our docking skills and getting the old muscle memory in place again after a hiatus from sailing. We were temporarily in this slip beside us and then we, uh, we undid the lines and motored out to, towards the uh, end of this channel, turned around, came back and did a pretty good docking, I would say. Don't you think? A little bit better prepared. Yes. So we had our stopper line in place 
and actually it was good because I was coming in a little bit faster than what I should have been. Uh, but uh, it worked out pretty good, like we didn't, um, it wasn't too bad. So we're just putting things away. We're uh, going to connect the shore power cable, clean the interior a little bit, but not too much uh, because we're tired and we'll be coming back again this weekend to do more boat work. Join us for the next episode as we install the boom, tune the rig, and raise the sails. I put out videos of my sailing, travel, and outdoor adventures. If this interests you, tap on the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of a new video being published. For now, fair winds to all.